All right, let's look at adding some transitional effects between the clips. So we have a, a wealth of various types of transitional effects that we can apply between still clips or video clips. So I can do the same thing I'm doing to the video clips, to the still clips I can do to video clips. I'm gonna start over by just selecting all the data here, deleting them. With them still selected over here, I'm just gonna shift click and drag them back onto the timeline like I did before. And so I've gotten rid of all the edits that I previously made. And I'm going to go over to my effects palette, under editing, under effects. And I can apply these different types of transitional effects. So I'm in the section called video transitions and I'm gonna go down to a traditional dissolve and I'll do a cross dissolve. So I'll click on that cross dissolve and drag it in between the two clips. Then I can grab that cross dissolve and change how long it transitions from one clip to the other. Let's play it. So there's my cross dissolve. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's look at another thing. Let's look at dip to black. So I'm going to come down and under video transitions. Let's look at the next one in there. So dip to white or dip to black. I'm going to grab that, drag that onto the next clip. And so it's going to temporarily dip to black as a transition from one to the other, okay? What else can I do? I can use an iris or some sort of a, 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 an effects here. So let's use iris box. I'm gonna grab that for instance, drag it onto the next clip. I'm dragging it in between the two clips. And when I play it, I'm gonna get something like this. And I can adjust the timing of that by grabbing this and dragging it and making it longer. I want the effect to take longer over time or shorter. I can also transition over here on the left. Let's look at another one. Let's look at adding a band slide. I'm gonna grab under slide. There's page peels, there's slides, there's wipes, there's zooms. I'm gonna grab the band slide. I'm gonna drag it in between the last two clips and I'm gonna have it transition using a band slide from one to the other. So once again, I'm applying these to still, but I could just as easily apply them to um, uh, to, to videos. Um, and so that's really cool. And in fact, I could actually put a dip to black on the very end here and use that as a way to fade out the clip. All right, so there we go. So those are some different ideas about working with still graphics. In this case, we applied some transitional effects in between the different stills. Last time we animated the stills on the screen.